Welcome back everybody, Jordan Nelson here to talk about some of the gear I use, the equipment, camera, microphone, stabilization, all that fun stuff. So let's get started. Now when it comes to equipment for video, they're very important but they're secondary. So if you don't know how to leverage the equipment that you have, or you don't know how to tell the story that you want to tell. It's just like I talked about in my last video that then the equipment starts to become obsolete. But if you've kind of started to craft what you want to say in your videos or what you want to capture and really know uh, how to use the equipment well, practicing with it, it is just a huge tool in creating really, really high quality, well, high quality stuff. Now I'm going to start off with the camera that I have. It's a Canon Rebel. T6i. So uh, I want you guys to see it, so I'm gonna switch over to taking some video with my phone and maybe they can help you see just the contrast between the two. So, all right, so here is my little setup I got going on here. So, this is the Canon Rebel T6i camera body here that you see, and then the lens attached to it is the Canon 18 through 135 millimeter. So, it'll zoom. Pretty, there you go, I'm doing my pinky. It's kind of hard to do. So yeah, it'll zoom all the way in like that. And uh, you can go as wide as 18 millimeter, which is pretty stinking wide. And 135 is really good. So it's a telescoping lens. Um, it also has image stabilization built in right there. This camera, what's really cool about this one is that there's Wi-Fi functioning in it. So if I take a photo, I'm like, I wanna put that on Instagram right now. There's really no emergencies when it comes to Instagram. But what if I did? So if I wanted to upload to Instagram right now, I could turn on Wi-Fi, hook my phone up to it, send it to my phone, and post it right there on the spot. It's cool. Yeah, so that's the camera and the lens here, and the camera has 24 megapixels in it, which is uh, super high quality. It shoots in HD, um, 60 frames per second even, so slow-mo just looks really buttery smooth. Like, uh, take a look at this shot right here. Sixty frames per second, right there. It's just smooth, smooth, smooth footage it's in slow motion, which this camera is able to do. It's really, really nice. So it just slow motion just makes everything look cool. So yeah, I love it. Yeah. So it, and this this lens here is really a workhorse. Like it's an all-in-one. I can use this thing for wide angles. I can use this thing for close-up. Um, yeah. Just, so for right now, this thing has been such a, a workhorse. Yeah, so I mean, I'm really excited with this camera. I'm, I'm really happy with how it's done for me so far. I'd love to, to upgrade and maybe get a second camera, do two, two cameras at a wedding or an event. Um, but right now, this has been really, really trusty and it, it's given really high quality stuff. Maybe in the future, I can go into more specifics about the specifications. Or if you guys have questions, leave a comment below. Just let me know, I can try to answer that for you. But right now, that's the camera and the lens. I'll pop this back on the tripod and uh, I'll talk about this uh, microphone up here, Rode Video Mic Pro. All right, so that microphone that you saw sitting on top of the camera, it's like a shotgun microphone. So I set that on top and I can capture directional sound, you know, wherever you're pointing it, that's kind of what a shotgun mic does. The direction you're pointing it, it gets high quality audio. So I'll just give you a little demonstration to show you how this high quality audio sounds compared to, let's say I take the, the microphone out. So. Here's me right now with the Rode VideoMic Pro plugged into the camera, running audio, pretty good audio. Now let me unplug it. All right, so here's that same camera, body, same lens, same everything, just unplug the audio, and this is the difference. It's just, there's a difference in the quality of the sound. So having an external microphone connected to your DSLR camera can make a huge difference in how the quality of the production uh, is perceived. Yeah, so I've been very happy with this Rode VideoMic Pro. It's a great external microphone, uh, especially to start, but uh, it's just really high quality. All right, so I got my audio plugged back in here, so hopefully the audio sounds better. If it doesn't, that's concerning, but I think it should sound a lot better. What we got going on next is a thing called an intervalometer. So here's what an intervalometer looks like. Now, what is this thing? Why does it have such a long, crazy name? Uh, in reality, it's a time travel device, so if I press this button, I can go back in time like eight seconds. So here, watch. In reality, it's a time travel device, so if I press this button, I can go back in time like eight seconds. So here, watch. I invented time travel. You heard it here first. All right, anyways, what I use this for is 
uh, time lapses. So you can plug this into the camera and you can set it for a certain interval, intervalometer interval. Um, so you can set it every eight seconds, I'm gonna take a photo. So I have my camera pointed at the sunrise uh, out, out the window of my apartment. Uh, you can see in this video here. And same goes for the time lapse I did at Grandview Drive in Peoria. All those videos were, were a bunch of photos over a long period of time put next to each other and then went through all the photos really fast. And you could do that, I, I'm not gonna sit there and know exactly every eight seconds. I'm just gonna click the shutter button on the camera. Click, eight seconds, click, eight seconds, click. It's like, no, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna plug this in, I'm gonna set it for every eight seconds, and how many pictures do I wanna take? 500, I'm gonna take 500 photos. So then I set it, I let it go, and it just goes. Every eight seconds, it's taking a photo automatically. It's a really cool toy. I wasn't really expecting to use it much, but then when I got it, I was like, I'm gonna have fun shooting time lapses. All right, this next thing is one of the most favorite pieces of equipment that I own. It's called a glide cam, right here. Like, what is this thing? So here, I'm gonna zoom out real quick. So this right here, this is a glide cam. What this is for is for stabilization of the camera. So if I want to show movement in a shot, so the camera's up here, and I wanna pan across the scene, or I wanna follow somebody through a room. Yeah, so, so those types of things, I would put the camera on this so that I'm not walking around holding onto the camera and it's bouncing all over the place. Uh, as, a, as I'm walking. The image stabilization on the lens helps some, but if you really want a quality production, it's just really important to have image stabilization so there's no distraction as to that camera is shaking all over the place. So this is on a three axis gimbal. This guy, the Glidecam XR Pro, holds up to 10 pounds on top here. I have a little quick release plate so when the camera can just slide on and slide off or else you have to screw the camera on and it's just, this whole mess. I can slide it onto my tripod afterwards if I need to switch really quick between a tripod or glide cam. But for this guy, you, this requires practice. You don't just put it on and all of a sudden, there you go, everything's stable. You have to learn how to balance it. And then when you balance it, you have to learn how to move so you're not, you're not bouncing a ton like this or you're not letting it sway all over the place. It takes some practice. And each time you put the camera on, it's not just automatically balanced. You have to balance it every time. This is still a really, really fun toy. I've had so much fun. It gets those cinematic shots that you wouldn't be able to get otherwise. You can't get very many cinematic movement shots when you're uh, just kind of walking around handheld, unless you're filming a Jason Bourne movie where everything's just crazy all over the place. You're wanting some sort of kind of intense scene that you, you want some tension and you, you want the camera to move around a lot handheld it up or if you're going for something that's it's totally warranting more of a shaky camera absolutely but for ones where you just want smooth stabilization is is something that I think is imperative and it's just really fun to use I just really have fun with these things so yeah that's a little about the the glide cam XR Pro here I do carry a couple batteries with me um, so I have one on the camera right now and then one in this uh, charger here so when I'm using the camera, I have the other one charging up on the wall, and then when that one runs out, I just switch them out. So, keeps it pretty efficient. I'm hoping to be able to get some more of these because they don't last forever, and especially during a wedding day, uh, you don't want to have to keep running back and forth to switch your batteries out. So, I probably want to get one or two more of these uh, for the future. All right, now let's talk tripod. All right, this is the tripod that I use. It is the Manfrotto Be Free Live tripod. Uh, it's typically used for uh, travel and stuff like that, but um, it's really lightweight, super lightweight. It folds into such a small little guy to pack easily. I'm excited to take this thing to Canada in a few weeks for uh, Jess's cousin's wedding. Super excited for that. Yeah, so it'll be really easy to pack, which is really helpful. Yeah, so this thing has a fluid head here, so I can just up and down, left and right, and slip the camera right in there. It's got that uh, same connection there. Yeah, love it. For editing, so for photography, I primarily use Lightroom. I have Photoshop as well and I've done things in there, but Lightroom, you can make a photo go from looking like this to looking like this. It's just a really, really handy 
photo editing tool. I use it the most by far out of any other photo editing tool. And then for video, I use Final Cut Pro 10, which I just love it. It's Mac, Apple system. It's kind of like iMovie, if you've ever used iMovie. It kind of uses the same sort of tools, except it's just a whole lot better. You can do so much more with it. It's just a phenomenal system. It's just really fun to get to learn all the little tips and tricks. So hopefully in the future, maybe I could learn some more and be able to teach you guys. Yeah, so that's just a little introduction into the equipment that I have right now. Hopefully I can get into more specifics at a later time if you have any questions or uh, anything you want to know about specific equipment. Maybe you're interested in doing this sort of thing as well. Gosh, that sucks. Get my right eyeball. Yeah, hey guys, so if you like this video, if you're on my blog and my website, jordannelsonproductions.com, uh, give it a like or a comment or subscribe to the blog. If you're on YouTube, subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'll be putting all these videos on here. Yeah, leave comments, any questions, any feedback, whatever you guys want to know or uh, want to see in the future. Just let me know. I am so open to suggestions. So coming up in the summer, I have uh, a couple weddings, super excited about. One's in Canada, one's in Minneapolis, and then traveling to uh, Colorado this summer as well. So just a lot of fun things happening, a lot of things coming up. So I uh, can't wait to share it all with you guys. We'll see you next time. Peace.